y'all. Here's the thing about fate versus free will. Whether you came here with a choice or not, whether you were sentient, maybe in that instant where I say, hey, I want to go there and go back to earth for something, in between that decision and then being born, there's the choices. But I wasn't shown that. So either way, I'm talking about once you land here in a body, what you have out in front of you, what everyone has, are these generalized goals. And when I say general, I mean very large general goals that is sort of your thesis statement. And so for me, my thesis statement was, I want to help reduce or end suffering in any capacity that I can. That whatever your large goal is, that tends to be what's going to drive most of your choices and your decisions. I am doing a live in-person solstice celebration. It is called the retreat. It is on the retreat tab on the website, unless it's already sold out because there's only room for eight to 10 people, depending. There's also your daily choices, things that you can choose every day. There seems to be a voice moving inside, an energy, and people call it the mushroom voice, life force energy, the key, higher self, your guides. But so many people say there's a voice pushing them. So you can call it what you want. That voice then, if you're really in touch and you're not suffering too much with panic, anxiety, and depression, if you are eating well, if your drug use isn't too high or too tilted, you can hear that, right? You use that as you ebb and flow to make your choices on a microscopic level from how much water to drink to whether you're gonna leave the house or not, which way you're gonna go. But then every once in a while, you will get to these places called nodes. And nodes are these pivotal points that were re-established whenever they were established i don't know but they are the fate they are the things you will never escape that your whole life no matter which directions you take you're going to run into a node and that node is going to determine whatever choice you make in that node is going to determine then different realities and outcomes so let's say with my channel i had a choice to start it or not start it and I could feel a node because if you pay attention, you know you get anxiety, you get stressed, you can't sleep, you feel confused, you feel exasperated, you feel pressured, and you can feel it. And it's not always an obvious decision. You just may feel that way and, and not know why, but you can sense something's coming and it may freak you out. And you may think, oh God, I'm gonna get in a car wreck. I'm gonna do something horrible. like." Uh, Something's gonna happen to me against my will, right? And in a way you're right because it's a node and, the, and approaching a node is against your will. That, that's outside of your willpower and your free will. And then if you choose not to choose, that's when it will get extremely uncomfortable because you passed it. It's like passing your exit and your self energy, key, higher self, mushroom voice, whatever it is, will start screaming at you and you won't be able to let it go. Like you know something is important and you need to make a decision. You need to do something. In some instances, it's obvious. But in some instances, it can be so important that it's loud. The loudness drowns out the direction until you finally have something happen that decides for you. Then in hindsight, you're like, you know what? I freaking knew it. I knew it. And so that shows us that the choices were there. We were listening. It's just that sometimes it can get so crazy and confusing. We can't, everybody's screaming and you want everybody to shut up and talk, just talk one at a time. So that mushroom voice was pushing on me. If you haven't seen that video, I have a, on um, why I started this channel that you're watching this on, but it has now become a website. If you could stop your life and say, what are my actual choices going on here? Who's involved? What are the outcomes going to be with each? If you could make everybody shut up and like, if they were a, 
a person and they could explain, you could go, right, this is what I need to do, right? That's not the case. We don't get to do that. It's why it's a node and that is the free will. So do you see how both people are right? The node is against your free will. You don't have a choice about the node, but you do have a choice about what you do in that node. And it's going to be an extremely important choice because it will decide a direction and an outcome. So when you make a choice, what happens is a splitting off and, and, and supposedly, and I've seen this also, that other yous at the same time split off into alternate realities where you choose the other options also. So the longer you're on the planet, the more realities you are splitting off into and living. So when you're born and you choose to scream and cry and then you're older and your parent says, don't touch that and you touch it, like every time you, you make decisions that wind up being life altering. Yeah, let's say you touched it and it wound up causing something to like take a finger off. Like anytime you make decisions that are extremely important that wind up changing yours and others lives and you could and you can tell they were coming out of a node then supposedly you are splitting into however many possible choices there were available in that node and those choices aren't necessarily yours maybe you had two choices but the options of the results coming out of those choices may have been three for one of them and six options for another one. What do those options have to do with you? And how, how do they happen? Those options are affected by the other people that are gonna be affected by that choice. So let's say there's children involved and a significant other involved and a friend involved and let's say that each of them are secretly hoping for different outcomes, then whatever decision you make, you're going to affect all those people. Let's say you made one that is actually going to be in favor of the best friend, and that means all the others are gonna be negatively impacted. You have to see the suffering of that choice and work with the pain of that choice and then learn from that and potentially when people talk about past lives and contracts that you came here to choose differently or to work things out, or this person just came to support you, or this person came to offer you the choice to be the fall guy, to be the bad guy, to support you in that choice, to be there at the end, whatever. Do you see what I'm saying? All of these people that were involved in this node, it was a node for all of them, and everyone was rushing toward that node together. The sun is in my eye. Much better. So let's say that you exit a node and you feel like you really screwed it up and you know right after you did it, you made a bad choice. Or let's say you can't decide and you don't know what the right choice is. These are weird times when these things happen. And I would like to say there's a do-over and sometimes there may be. But I know in my life, I've made what I knew was the absolute right decision only to regret it every day after that. And the door closed to my ability to change it or go back and, and reverse it or make a different decision. But at the time I made it, I was scathing and brutal and wanted to do whatever was going to be the best decision for the most amount of people and do the most good. And it, and it still turned out to be the worst decision for me and for everyone. And it's times like that that are maddening. And I would like to say there's a universal answer. And this is where I split from a lot of people in the new age community and the spiritual community is that I don't believe there's right answers. I believe there's merely the path we choose. We learn from it, we move forward because I don't believe there's a God and I don't believe there is justice and I don't believe there's punishment. I don't believe there's some rule book and I don't believe that when, we, when it's over that we have to necessarily suffer other than to know that maybe if we were just an asshole that maybe we regret that or like some people say in the life review now i've never seen any proof or hints in my travels of a life review 
and I think a life review may merely be the sense of regret, which I think is a bad thing. I think very few people are assholes. I think that everyone is doing the best they can. And I've seen it over and over and over, even with people who have hurt me deeply. Even people I would go on record saying that they are just nothing but damaging on the planet and they probably should have never been born. And I can't think of anything good they've ever done. And everywhere they go, they leave nothing but destruction in their wake. Even those people believe they're making the next right choice. They don't believe they're being assholes and they're living and probably coming from the deepest, most wounded place that they, that is the best place they can come from because of an incredible amount of damage to all of the systems, leaving only a system that can function from a place of fear and survival. And for them, that's what that looks like. And why is that that person's fault? Because they didn't choose all that damage. Which is why I'm not all for punishment and judgment. Because, I mean, you y'all think I'm a pretty good person. I used to be really narcissistic when I was young. Because I was so damaged, I was in survival mode that I didn't have a personality. I lived to survive and just get what I needed to get to the next day. And that meant using people. But I didn't know I was using people. I thought I was the victim. And that's what therapy did for me. Finally helped me learn to love myself and take care of myself and get out of survival mode and, and actually live. So it, this whole judging people for the choices they make, I believe everyone knows when they are at a node, they feel it, they feel the intensity of it. It's just that that affects different people differently. And for the anxiety ridden or people who tend toward anxiety, it's going to feel a lot like overwhelm and anxiety. And I believe the closer we get to a node, and if you are anxiety ridden and it just feels like anxiety, that that's when people turn to alcohol and other things to turn the volume down. So that one, you can feel, two, sleep, three, possibly look at your options and make a decent choice. Which is why I'm so happy for because now I can do that relatively well. And you've got to know if you've been watching my journey, Jesus, man, I've just, I've had my share of abuse and hate in the form of the comment section, which I really thought a channel like this, I would get less of it, but I actually get more of it than most people. That's been hard. Stalkers have been hard. But I have to tell you, when YouTube started striking my channel, it started freaking me out because that's my trigger. My whole life being autistic, you're bad, you're wrong, you break the rules, you don't fix yourself, you don't care. Punish, 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 and then I can't fix it. And that's what YouTube is doing. They're like, you broke the rules, you're a violator, you're locked out, punish, punish, punish. And yet, they keep moving the goalposts, never know what the rules are, it's very triggering. So, I find myself at a node right now. And I know the first right decision was to make the website. I made that decision and now many choices have opened up. After I moved through that one, they just proliferated. So the mushroom voice helps tremendously with nodes. And it's why I made this video. I believe it works on our inner sense of self and our direction on this planet. Buy me a coffee. The link is in the description. I do live video streaming on the second Saturday of every month. With my patrons, we have Zoom meetings on the first and second Saturdays of every month. I am doing a workshop with the San Francisco Psychedelic Society. We're doing two workshops, an introductory workshop. I love you beautiful people. Bye.